Here with Endicott football head coach Kevin DeWall checking in with the football team. Coach, a little bit of a different scenery for us today moving inside due to the rain, but let's just talk about last week first before we talk about MIT. 42-14 to 14 win over Nichols. Just give us a rundown of the game. Yeah, it was great to start off league play like we wanted to. Uh, went down uh, in a third game in a row on the road. Went in and played a new conference uh, opponent for us, and uh, I was really happy on all facets of the game. Offense played much better, more efficiently, took care of the ball, had balance on offense and defense. And then obviously our defense did a great job shutting down the run, getting to the quarterback. So all three phases complemented one another, and it was great to start out league play 1-0. Coach, uh, team sack record with 10, and then Craig Anderson getting his individual sack record. Obviously there was some recognition individually for the goals this week with Craig, Sam, Drew, and Johari. Just talk about you know what that means for the program. Yeah, I mean, it was great. Those four guys individually did great. I mean, as a whole, I thought all sides, uh, all, all players kind of, we prepared better and, and obviously went out and executed at a much higher level. Uh, talk about the defense in particular, the two guys up front that got recognized, Craig Anderson, uh, four sacks, took a, you know, broke the single game record. Uh, he's a captain, uh, he, he gives great effort up front. And it was good to see Drew Jones as a first year. Uh, increasing his role and productivity up front, having two sacks and uh, being the, the NEFC Defensive Rookie of the Week. Uh, two of many guys on the defense that perform well, but when we're winning the line of scrimmage and attacking up front, it's going to make our linebackers and DBs in a much better situation. And then over on the offense side of the ball, uh, Sam Ouellette in his third uh, start, uh, much more efficient. Uh, had the three touchdowns, uh, two run-ins, so a total of five touchdowns. Career day for him. Yeah, he just is a, it was a week wiser, more mature, better with his decisions, and, and up front, the offensive line performed better, gave him a running game. Uh, Jahari Johnson, obviously, is, is, is a rookie, had a, is a big game. Uh, it's good to see a lot of different faces stepping up, and as we talked about, as we were playing a lot of young guys, more and more guys becoming more experienced, and you're going to see a better product as we're playing on the field. Offensive line, just to get a mention in there, no sacks allowed in the game, did a really good job of, of helping out the running and the pass protection. Coach, now we'll move forward. Just talk about the MIT matchup this week. Yeah, it's an exciting game, obviously, with homecoming. Finally, it's been about a month since we've been playing here at home, so we're excited to be back. Uh, you got the defending conference champion last year. They were undefeated league champs, went in the NCAA tournament, uh, representing the, uh, the NEFC, did a great job. And uh, so we're excited for it. Uh, you know, I think they played some tough non-league games as well as, as, as we did. So I think it's a, both teams 1-0 here in the conference. It's a good indicator up front uh, to see where we're going to be. Very smart, intelligent team that does uh, does a lot on offense, that executes very well, and then on defense again, mixing up schemes. They're they're not going to beat themselves. They're going to be in the right situation. So we're going to have to be the aggressor, and we're going to have to make sure that our guys are executing at a high level. As we're excited to uh, have the defending champion come in and play in this here. All right, thanks, coach, and good luck this Saturday. Thank you.